What's going on y'all Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking some NBA and Nick fans. I am sorry. I am sorry to all Nick fans right now because it's tough. I'm going to tell you straight up it is tough. I wanted to make a video about the draft, talk about, you know, the prospects. I wanted to talk about the trades that went down, but instead I get on Twitter and Phil Jackson is making headlines and he's wilding. Because he is trying to trade Kristaps Porzingis. Yes, that's right. Kristaps Porzingis, the only asset that the Knicks have and the only good thing that Phil Jackson has done in his time as an executive, as the president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks. The only good thing. He wants to reverse that and he wants to trade him away. What is Phil Jackson doing? Okay, at this point... Like I said, it feels like Phil Jackson is trolling. It feels like he wants to get fired. It feels like he is looking for any which way to basically look for a way out of New York. Because not only did he alienate Carmelo Anthony and completely kill his trade value, he hasn't done anything else uh, comparably good as an executive. He gave Joakim Noah that horrible deal, brought in Derrick Rose, and completely shut over the rebuilding process and tried to retool by doing all this after drafting Kristaps Porzingis. So the only good thing he does, he tries to undo it. So apparently the reason why he wants to trade Kristaps Porzingis is because Porzingis did not show up to the Knicks exit meeting. Are you kidding me? Talk about dysfunctional. So you're going to trade away your franchise player because he didn't show up to some exit meeting. Phil Jackson mentioned this in some interview um, that I saw on Twitter where he talked about the fact that in his 25, 30 years of coaching, he's never had a player miss an exit interview, which is a flat-out lie because Shaq missed an exit interview a couple times in 2003 and 2004, I believe. So Phil Jackson is literally trying to trade his franchise player because he didn't show up to an exit meeting. Folks, not practice not a game excuse me but a meeting um, to quote the great Allen Iverson that's what it feels like at this point the rant that I want to go on for Phil Jackson I feel like Stephen A. Smith right now because the incompetency the the lack of professionalism that Phil Jackson should have as the president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks he is clearly lacking and this is the final straw if he trades Porzingis I don't know at this point, like if you were a New York Knicks fan, I would just I would just give it up. I would just say, you know what, uh, let me know when Phil is out as the president of basketball operations. Maybe let me know when James Dolan is out as the owner. Maybe I'll decide to come back. But at this point, it's a, it's a mess. It's a hot mess. The Knicks right now are hot garbage because of Phil Jackson. And quite frankly, at this point, I feel like a lot of... NBA fans could be better GMs than Phil Jackson, and that's saying a lot because he's one of the greatest coaches of all time. Great coach, great coach, horrible, horrible GMs, folks. So again, uh, about Phil Jackson, like I mentioned, the trade offers that he's been getting, they're looking to trade with Phoenix, they're looking to trade with Boston. A lot of teams, if they want to take advantage of Phil Jackson being, you know, a quote-unquote an idiot, they should um, try and trade for Porzingis I would do it in a heartbeat if I was Boston I'd offer that number three pick in a second I would offer that number four pick if I'm Phoenix in a second and any other team that wants to get in on this so like I said Phil Jackson I don't know what he is doing at this point I feel like like I said he's trolling all of us mainly Nick fans thank god I'm not a Knicks fan um, but at this point I don't know what is there to come do I think Porzingis Porzingis gets traded. I'm going to hold on to any sliver of hope as a competent fan to say that Phil Jackson has somewhat of a common sense and he does not trade Porzingis, but we'll see what happens. I would not be shocked if he does. Like I said, it's Phil Jackson at this point, and that's been his MO as president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks. So let me know what you guys think about this Phil Jackson trading or looking to trade Kristaps Porzingis. What's the plan here, okay? Porzingis doesn't want to play the triangle. Did he insult Phil Jackson or something? Did he call him the B-word to his face? There's got to be something more than missing an exit meeting. I find that very very hard to believe 
reading into the story. Like I said, he is the only building block you have. Joakim Noah is broken down. Derrick Rose is going to leave. Carmelo Anthony, you want out. Um, Hernan Gomez might be the only good other piece as well. And then the rest of the roster, you got a bunch of Courtney Lees, Kylo Quinns. Porzingis is supposed to be that building block. You're supposed to be building around him, and instead you want to trade him. And you talk about the future. Porzingis is 21 years old, 21 or 22 at most. He is the future. You act like he's old. So, again, I don't know why Phil Jackson is doing this. Like I said, I think there's a backstory here where he might just be trolling us. He might just want to get fired. Who knows? Um, but I'm at loss, loss for words. Um, I would still say that I don't think he's going to trade him because I'm hoping for the best for Knicks fans and the Knicks in general. Um, but let's see what happens, folks. What do you guys think about Phil Jackson looking to trade Chris Hops Porzingis? Leave a comment down below. And if you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.